कितनी खुशी महसूस होती है सोलवा साल हाय 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 सोलवा साल अरे फिक्र ना करो मैं तो सिर्फ पंद्रह साल का था सोलवे साल की तरफ सोलवे साल की तरफ जा रहा हूं आपको आपको सब अठारह या बीस साल के लड़के मिले तो मुझे मुझे कुछ मशवरा देना कि क्या होता है सोलवे मैं अपनी अपनी चौदह साल गर्लफ्रेंड को छोड़ कर बजाए बजाए उसके साथ बैठ के चाय अपनी चाय पीता उसकी आंखों में आंखें सारे सारे परेशान करने वाले नौजवानों के साथ सभी बुजुर्गों के साथ मुझे यहाँ शामिल कर दिया बट बहुत बहुत मुबारक हो वायरसी कि आपने पंद्रह साल तक ये खिदमत की है मुल्क की कौम की और आज सन दो हजार सत्रह में इतने हसीन चेहरे और इतने खूबसूरत चेहरे असम्बल किया और कितने मुनासिब ये साल है सन दो हजार सत्रह पाकिस्तान सत्तर साल का होने वाला है और सेवेंटी सेवन ईयर ऑफ द लाहौर रेजोल्यूशन जो 1940 में अडॉप्ट हुआ याद रहे कि वो हम कहते तो हैं उसको पाकिस्तान रेजोल्यूशन लेकिन उस करारदाद में आपको पता है ना लफ्स पाकिस्तान नहीं है उस करारदाद दिस इज वन ऑफ द मेनी आयरनीज ऑफ आवर ओरिजिन एंड हिस्ट्री बट दैट्स अनदर डिटेल द फैक्ट इज कि ये बहुत एक अहम साल है क्योंकि जब भी कोई एनिवर्सरी आती है किसी भी मुल्क के तारीख की तो इट्स अ टाइम फॉर स्टॉक टेकिंग इट्स अ टाइम फॉर सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ कोर्स बट इट्स आल्सो अ टाइम फॉर रिफ्लेक्शन कुछ सोच को फिगर और कुछ तोलना कुछ वजन करना कि क्या हमने पाया क्या हमने हासिल किया और क्या हमें हासिल करना है लेकिन इससे कबल की हम ओम की बात करें मैं फर्ज की बात कर रहा एक एक फर्ज की कितने दिलचस्प है ये असेंबली मेरी नजर में पाकिस्तान के कोने कोने से आप तशीफ लाए हैं कम से कम सुना आप पचास मुख्तलिफ शहर या जिलों से आपका फाल है या नहीं yes. और कितना ये खूबसूरत मुल्क है हमारा मैं खुशकिस्मत हूं कि मैं मुसलसल ट्रैवल करता रहता हूँ पाकिस्तान के चारों सूबों में मेरे रजाकार काम के सिलसिले में चाहे वो गवादर हो चाहे तुरबत हो डी खान डीजी खान मुल्तान दीगर सिंध के कुछ दूर दराज इलाके तो मुझे हमेशा महसूस होता है और कल ही एक तकरीब हो रही थी आर्ट्स काउंसिल पर और एक बड़े मायूस को नंदाज में कह रहे थे लोग वहां पर कि जी हमें कहा जाता है कि वापस चले जाओ वापस कौन चले जाओ जिन्होंने पाकिस्तान को और पाकिस्तानियत को मुंतब किया जो तो पैदा यहां नहीं हुए थे मेरे वाले भी यहां नहीं पैदा हुए मैं भी नहीं पैदा हुआ बहुत कम आह बड़े मासूम उम्र का मार गया था इतना भी मासूम नहीं था दो, दो साल दो साल की उम्र पर काफी कुछ सीख लेता है इंसान ताजुब होगा आपको दो साल में कितना एब्सॉर्ब करता है शख्स लेकिन आई एम प्राउड टू बी पाकिस्तानी बाय चॉइस चॉइस नॉट नॉट बाय एक्सीडेंट ऑफ बर्थ एंड दैट इज अ ग्रेट एक्सीडेंट द फैक्ट दैट यू आर बॉर्न पाकिस्तानी एंड रिमेंबर All of you are accidents. <laughs> you are all accidents. You are beautiful, handsome, intelligent accidents. But you are all accidents. 
Not just because of what your parents did. <laughs> no, no. Because you, you rascals, you, you did not choose. You had no role to play. You had no role to play. You had no role to play in being born. In being born with that lovely nose of yours or with those eyes, or with the skin color, or with the height, or with your DNA. You were all born prisoners. You are prisoners. But you are gradually evolving by the decisions you make every day of your life. What are you going to become? Just as two brothers born from the same womb of the one mother become two completely different persons. They've got the same broad DNA and yet while DNA itself allows some lachak, okay, one person can be different, another person can be different, you can share 50% DNA and yet you can have some other DNA from your great-grandfather which makes you different. But what really makes people different and free from the accidental slavery of your birth over which you had no role to play are the decisions you take. Kya faisle aap karte hai? Har roz. Kya mein aaj ghussa karu, na karu, is lamhe pe bardash karu, apne aap ko control karu, एक बुरा ख्याल आया तो उसको कुचल दूं, without becoming a frustrated person, हाँ, बहुत ज़्यादा कुचलने से भी frustrations बढ़ जाती हैं, कुछ हद तक अपने आप को you have to let go, हाँ, you have to reach out, so so many decisions we all make consciously or unconsciously, and that is what eventually shapes us. Shapes our character, which is the most important part of our being. Our character. Then our personality. Our personality begins to reflect our character. But that also I'm not so sure about. Because you can have a very bad character. And you can dress it up in a very nice personality. Can't you? बस दफा क्या बताऊं मैं आपको गुजरिश्ता हफ्ते गुजरिश्ता हफ्ते I was with someone who has worked with me for a long time and then that person suddenly did something which was an attempt to hello hello out there I want to see you young man I want to look at you when I'm speaking because you speak with your eyes and you listen with your eyes, not with your ears. Anna? So I want to look at you when I speak and I want the benefit of your eyes giving me your energy. So what does this person do? Who said Acha? Are Larki Beach me up near boyfriend Sibi Baskari? उस यार उस क्या अरे वो स्मार्ट फोन को तो बंद कर लड़की ये अन स्मार्ट को तो सुन ले कुछ देर के लिए अच्छा सुनो तो तो ये चॉइसेस हैं और आज का मौजूद मैंने क्या मुंतखब किया आप सब के मासूम रहनों के लिए मैंने कहा कि आज का मुल्क हम किस तरह इसको रिलेट करें किस मुल्क में और किस शहर में हम जिंदगी बसर कर रहे हैं इतने मायूसी के माहौल में हाँ नौजवानों को तो मायूसी नहीं महसूस करनी चाहिए आपकी जिंदगी का बहुत हिस्सा आगे है लेकिन एक ओवरऑल एक कैफियत पाई जाती है पाकिस्तान में कि क्या कर दिया हमने इस मुल्क के साथ बिलखसूस अगर आप जरा इब्राह को देखें अगर आप टीवी सुने 
دیکھیں ٹی وی سنیں ریڈیو سنیں اخبار پڑھیں دیکھیں صورتحال باہر بھی کیا ہے بہت مایوس ہے یا نہیں لیکن اسی وجہ سے میں سوچتا ہوں کہ کتنا ضروری ہے کہ آج کے دن خاص طور پر اس سال ہم یہ بھی تو یاد کریں کہ ہم کتنے انوکھے ہیں ایک تو آپ سب کتنے خوش قسمت ہیں you are so privileged I want to first of all felicitate you for being part of humanity at this time 2017 never before in human history all of human history we've been walking around in this form for roughly about 200,000 years our recorded history is less than 10,000 years huh? when we started doing agriculture agriculture 10,000 saal pehle shuru kiya uske baad likhna soch mein aaya what is writing how to record what happened yesterday so we know very little about ourselves but never before in all of recorded history has there been a set never before has there been a set of people who have the benefits that you have my god the benefits of health care even in a country where there are so many people who are suffering from bad health, the inoculation, the vaccination, the access to treatment, the reduction in disease, the access to electricity, even in load shedding. Oh, and then this little, where is that little? Oh, it's called your boyfriend. <laughs> that little angel who's also a devil, this creation for the first time the entire knowledge almost all the information being created in all media in the palm of your hand Beethoven's symphony Ravi Shankar's music Lata Mangeshkar Noor Jaha a radio station in Brazil Brazil in Portuguese, you can access it. Encyclopedia, huh? Google, what have you? My God, how privileged you are. And you're living at a time when 36 million miles away, who, what does the figure 36 million miles mean? 3 crore, 60 lakh, meal to Mars is a planet. Naam suna hai? Yes, sir. I have asked you, what is the most important thing of the human being? Often I say, the power of speech and language. Only in 24 hours, in 24 hours, in English, how many girls are in Urdu? 52. In Urdu, the alphabets. I can't believe this. <laughs> okay. There is a healthy disagreement. Chukkar. Oi. Chukkar. Hadi. In just those few alphabets, we capture all our emotions, our thoughts, our dreams, our nightmares, our feelings, our sentiments, and we communicate. And you don't have to go to school. I meet illiterate village women who are so beautiful with the hard work they do. And when they speak, and they speak, they speak with such sincerity and passion and emotion and such strength. Communication, huh? language, what an image. And yet, when I think, is it? Is it the greatest invention? Perhaps yes. But the second greatest at this very moment is 36 million miles away from us on the planet Mars. And do you know what it's called? 
you don't know what it's called they've given it a beautiful name curiosity hi hi curiosity and you know what curious and you know what curiosity does it is walking along the surface of the planet obeying radio signals sent from nasa in florida and it takes 30 minutes for that radio signal to reach curiosity and curiosity is told go 5 feet forward curiosity goes 5 feet curiosity turn 2 feet to the left curiosity turns 2 feet to the left curiosity pick up that soil analyze it and transmit the findings curiosity picks up the soil analyzes it transmits it the water there is no wiring no direct connection no human being for 36 million miles and curiosity has been doing this for 5 years what an achievement of humanity and we are here today in the year 2017 and we managed to send curiosity on to mars what a great age we are living in and if that is the unique part of history of which we are all a part let me also felicitate you for being citizens for being citizens of the single most uniquely created nation state in the whole world pakistan no other no other no other nation state was created the way we were created and i've studied this subject i've written about it and my books have been published both here and in india they've been reviewed in britain and the reasons i offered for that claim it sounds very exaggerated every american will say my country is the most the greatest in the world and israeli may also say why you so depressed are ladke mujhe to dekh le kya yaad aa raha hai kya yaad aa raha hai acha hali to Uh, they have not been able to challenge those reasons I've given in that book. Eight reasons. I'm not going to inflict all eight reasons on you today. I'll probably inflict about two or three, so that you can all go and then read my book. It's in its third edition is being launched at the end of August by Paramount Books. It, it was published in India. Uh, It was published in India with this uh, title and cover: Pakistan Identity and Destiny. Here it's being called Pakistan Unique Origins, Unique Destiny, and instead of black, which I didn't like, they've given the cover green, green and Jinnah's cap, Mr. Jinnah's cap. So you'll find it there. <laughs> But let me tell you why: why we are the single most uniquely created nation state in the world. Number one, to begin with. our name we are the only country in the world with an invented adjective for a name pakistan which is not just an adjective it's also an acronym you know what's an acronym each letter stands for something else p for punjab a for afghania k for kashmir s for sindh tan for balochistan and the original invention didn't even have an i in it the i came late and you know who invented it chaudhry rehman normally names of countries are derived from ethnicity you know what ethnicity is have you heard of uzbekistan Uzbekistan is Uzbekistan because there is an Uzbek race. Have you heard of Iceland? Yes. Iceland is called Iceland because there's a lot of ice in Iceland. 
Why is Afghanistan called Afghanistan? Because there is a tribe or a community called Afghan, ethnic, right? Why is America called America? Who are America? What is the name? Where did the name, the word America come from? Very good. This bachche ke liye tali bajado. Wow. He said it right. Amerigo Vespucci, who should have been even more famous than Christopher Columbus. But he's the one who went and sailed up South and North America. And America is named after a person, okay, who's now been forgotten. But India is named after the river Indus, which was originally Sindhu. Pakistan is not named Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. In fact, in fact, those those other rascals, Indians, have included Sindh in their national anthem. You know that. So they've included Sindh, and I hope they don't have their their naughty eyes on Sindh. But the point is, Pakistan is the land of the pure. I, I, how many pure people are there? Hundred percent pure, you know? No impurity to do this. But it's also an acronym, huh? The closest that comes to it is Liberia in West Africa, because Liberia is from liberty. In the early 19th century, some progressive white people in North America shipped back about 15,000 black slaves. And they said, go back. We had no right to bring you. They had already brought millions into North and South America as slaves. And these people which are in this set up Liberia. But Liberia is not named after place names. So Pakistan, incredible name. How incredible that in 1971, when we were terribly shocked to become the first country after the Second World War to disintegrate, the majority, the majority of Pakistanis rejected the name Pakistan. Oh, what tragedy! And the minority said no. This name is so beautiful. We are going to preserve it. In West Pakistan, we held on to that name. And in the last 44 years, we've nurtured that name and we've protected it with all our pain and our sadness. We refuse to give up this name. Do you want to give up that name? No. no. Oh, Pakistan. So this name, it's so an unusual and invented name with such a short age. What is your name, dear? Huh? What does it mean? Decoration. Why? Decoration. What is your name? Huh? Alam. Oh my God. Very strange name. Yeah, sorry, not strange. Very nice name. Very nice name. Alam, what does it mean? Rehem karne wala. Kya baat hai? Dekho, ek ek naam mein kitna vazan hai. Vakt ka vazan hai. The older the name, the more weighty and substantive it becomes. Pakistan is a little baby name. Baby. Invented in 1933 and not used by Mr. Jinnah till 1940 and 1941. The man who we today call the poet philosopher of Pakistan. Who is the poet philosopher? <laughs> right. The name was invented. The name was invented in 1933. Allama Iqbal died in 1938. He lived for five years. He never used the word Pakistan. Mr. Jinnah also thought Pakistan, this is the slogan of a few young people. Pakistan, we have not yet decided. I've got my first yawn here, so I, don't worry, I'll keep track. I'll only be here for another three hours, so that's okay. I'll try and keep track. Okay, so, so, 
Where was I? Until you yawned, you rascal. <laughs> he never used the word Pakistan. I'm not holding that against Allama Iqbal. He's a great poet. He did have a vision for Muslims to be autonomous. But this name was so unusual, so delicate, that it became the inspirational name only after 1940. And within six years, it became the name of a new country. So, that's one reason for our being so unique. The second reason is, no country in the world was created with two wings, with approximately equal population, separated by 1,000 miles of hostile territory. Not friendly territory, hostile territory. In 1947, there was East Pakistan and there was West Pakistan. There was India in the middle and India is still there, except that's become Bangladesh. And the Home Minister of India, you know what he said? He said, Pakistan oh, won't last for more than six months. Six months. And then it tried its best to achieve that six months. They shut off the water supply to West Pakistan. They didn't give the money that they owed us. Mahatma Gandhi had to go on hunger strike against his own government to say, release the money that you owe Pakistan. And until that money came, the Nizam of Hyderabad, Deccan, to which I am proud to belong, my father was from there, my mother is buried there, even though she's, she was from Madras. The Nizam of Hyderabad, rated as the world's wealthiest man at that time, sent money secretly to Pakistan to enable us to pay our salaries, buy food. What a miracle. Two wings separated by a thousand miles and hostile. And remember, if you meet an American, I've just been to America and I repeat my favorite little way of illustrating because some Americans don't understand. Many Americans are very ignorant. Would you agree? I say, imagine New York there and Kamran Brisbee is California. He's got to be California. <laughs> and in the middle was Russia. How would the United States have grown into a country? So, they begin to realize what a difficult challenge it was for Pakistan to survive even up to 1971. And then after 71, they managed to retain Pakistan and continue building. And the last reason why we are so unique, and it shows the capacity of this incredible assembly of nations and sub-nations into this identity of Pakistan. We were created at 10 weeks notice. 10 weeks for a whole nation state to come into being. It had never happened before. Kamran, Rizvi and Hamad and this whole great team take at least a few months. Six months to get these rascals together. 300 people together. A few months. Here was a country with 36 million people living here. Is that, is 10 weeks. Baby, no country is done. Third June 1947, Lord Mountbatten, arrogant, overconfident, announces this. There shall be the partition plan to be implemented middle of August. Like a fait accompli, Mr. Jinnah and Mr. Nehru accept it. Mr. Jinnah opposed the partition of Punjab and Bengal because he wanted large numbers of non-Muslims to remain Pakistani, to remain in Pakistan, but Congress and the British opposed that. They wanted to divide Punjab and Bengal. So, Pakistan, they said 14th, 15th August. And you know, why did he choose 14th, 15th August? Does anyone know? That was a coincidence. But the reason why that arrogant man, Mountbatten, God rest his soul, 
if God has forgiven him for his sins, because of the short notice that he gave, mass slaughter took place, panic erupted, neighbor attacked neighbor, Sikhs and Muslims living together in peace in Punjab, huh, turned enemies overnight, Hindus and Muslims, because they were panic stricken. Where are we going to live? Should we leave? Should we move? Whatever. Why did he choose this? Oh, exactly two years ago, dear Lord Mountbatten had been appointed Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in Singapore in the end of the Second World War. And it tickled his fancy. Man preside Karunga over the independence of two new states. What arrogance! Utter arrogance! And as a result of that panic stricken, forced like a caesarean section performed on a woman without even giving her anesthesia, that is how painful our birth was. So, by all logic, we should not have survived. 10 million people moved from the Indian state to Pakistan, from Pakistan to India. My God, that kind of migration had never been witnessed before. And there are seven other reasons I don't want to go into that. I'm just giving you a taste of what it's like. Huh? So, we are very unique. And to cap it all, we didn't have just one hostile neighbor. Uh -huh. The Pakistani koi kaam karta hai na, to double karta hai. We had not one hostile neighbor, we had two hostile neighbors. And guess who the other hostile neighbor was? Afghanistan. The only country to oppose the application of Pakistan for admission to the United Nations was not India, it was Afghanistan. They said, Hum tuji ye northern frontier manthe, aaj bhi ni manthe. So, here is a new country coming in, water supply cut off, paise nahi hai, khane ke liye nahi hai, mere walid sahab jab migrate kar kar aai, he had to sit on the floor, there was not enough furniture in Karachi, the whole state system came into being, and we survived. Ek gana hai, ek American singer ka, I will survive. Kabhi suna hai? Are, kya miss kar gaye ho? I hey, Kamran, Kabi Wukana and Kosunabi. I will survive a big Asunana. You can fetch it, you can fetch it on the internet. Let me now come to the concluding and the last part of it because I need to listen to you and your awkward questions. In these 44 years since 1971, my humble belief is that we are developing a national identity called Pakistanians. Just me, I have 22 positive elements identified here, and nine negative elements. And these are the ones that are present in our society. In my opinion, you have more good things. You have more good things. Obviously, you have more good things. But that is the part of the society. Chahe aap sin mein paida huye ho, Balochistan mein ho, kahi bhi ho. We are evolving Pakistan. And I'm not worried if people say, ji, kaisi qom hai ye, abhi tak apne aap ko Baloch kehti hai, apne aap ko Punjabi kehti hai. Aray Baba, kyun nahi kahenge? They have been Baloch and Punjab and Sindhi and Pakhtun for hundreds, for thousands of years before Pakistan came into being. So they have a right to uh, believe in their identity because identity is not uh, a, a, a bargain which you exchange. There are several levels of identity. You can be a Muslim, you can be a Muslim Sunni, you can be a Muslim Shia, you can believe in Ahle Sunnah, you can believe in Ahle Hadith. <laughs> there are so many identities. So you don't have to choose. You can be Proudly Punjabi and also proudly Pakistani. Because the Pakistanians is a state level, national level identity. And how do we become one nation? Ah, remember what happened at the Oval in June? 
we played a cricket match with a very weak team from a very small country which was what what is it called india india <laughs> ah. and and we walloped them what a way we walloped them my god that day every pakistani regardless of whether he was a pakhtun or a migrant like me we were rooting for pakistan huh but even when that is not happening even when we are not winning a cricket match we are thinking and feeling for this incredibly crazy country because we are all a bit crazy you know don't you agree yeah we are a, you have to be a bit crazy to be pakistani so let me end there by saying that i've also identified 60 strengths that we have we have 40 weaknesses we have to work on those on those weaknesses we have ways forward we have to choose i come back to where i started from an individual shapes identity by choosing and pakistanis all of us each of us has a role to play samjhe ye na samjho ke the choices have to be made by mamnoon hussain and nawaz sharif and imran khan they will also have to make choices but each of us whether you go into engineering or architecture or it or medicine whoever you marry whoever you run away with each each of us each of us each of us is going to make make what pakistan becomes huh? we've got responsibility because aajkal ke daur mein it's so much finger pointing ji the government is rotten the state is corrupt they all nikamma politicians are useless the army is good or the army is bad blah 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 no the buck starts and the buck stops with us each of us so let me end there kamran rizvi is also stood up from his sofa and his chair and he's very worried about the time i am also very worried about the time and before the time element goes by i better tell him because one of the girls here pretty girl is looking very disconsolate can't afford to let that happen have you heard of einstein yes einstein developed something called the theory of relativity right so a young man went up to einstein and said sir I don't understand what is this theory of relativity. He said very simple. If you sit on a hot stove for a minute, it feels like an hour. If you sit with a nice girl for an hour, it feels it feels like a minute. It feels like a minute. So I I I wasted a lot of your time but to me it was like a minute <laughs> it was like a minute I just want to say, Kasan, I brought with me uh, two copies of one of my earlier books, Criss Cross Times, not this one, Criss Cross Times, uh, and it's up to you whether you, how you want to distribute that book uh, to say whoever you think has been the most enthusiastic, active participant. One woman and one man. Gender equity. Gender equity. <laughs> Uh, and and three, three copies three copies of a report by the media commission two in urdu one in english this was a media commission which the supreme court appointed i was honored to be one of the two members with justice nasir aslam zaid the reason i am also presenting it is it identifies various reforms that are desperately needed in our media system. which has become a very very corrupt non transparent and imbalanced media sector 
and it is up to people like yourselves to build public opinion to bring those reforms into actual reality. So you decide. Thank you.